Welcome, you guys. Welcome to this morning's broadcast, right? Good morning, DJ KU. Thank you. Love you, too. That's your granddaughter. Okay, beautiful. She is gorgeous. Thank God for the children. Good morning, as if nearly. Thank you for joining the broadcast this morning. <laughs> You're welcome, Queen B. You're welcome. Good morning, Hassan 1907. Good morning, VVDHD. HDHD. Thank you for joining the broadcast this morning. No, we're not doing the naked thing. Let's go on and block that. Good morning, baby T. Good morning, XXONUR. Let's go ahead and get started this morning. Welcome to this to the broadcast. Welcome to this morning's divorce devotion. Good morning, Diego. Welcome. Good morning, Kuzi Instabal. Thank you for joining. Good morning, Rolls Roy Rolls Roy. Thank you for joining. Thank you for those beautiful hearts this morning. I love the hearts. They keep me talking, right? Let me know that you what I'm saying is resonating with you. Welcome to this morning's broadcast. This morning's divorce devotion. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrea Stuckey, and I am the founder of Live Life Loved, and I help women rebuild, redefine, and liberate their lives following separation and divorce. I am your divorce liberator. I'm a transformational life coach, a speaker, and I'm also the author of the book, Suddenly Single, a woman's spiritual and practical guide to the first five years following separation and divorce. Welcome to this morning's broadcast. Thank you guys for joining. Good morning, Abdul Abdullah. Thank you guys for coming on into the broadcast this morning. I hope that you're doing fantastic on this thankful Thursday, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in to this morning's uh, topic and message and the topic that you saw what have you lost what have you lost welcome merit smile welcome tan rio glue what have you lost along your journey of life during this separation and divorce journey right what is what is it that you've lost well, let me talk to you this morning about loss. Good morning, Davey. Good morning, Dave Kimber, 999. Thank you for joining the broadcast this morning. You know, I always start. You know, I always start my scopes with a quote or a scripture. And this morning I'm coming from the word of God this morning. And it's coming from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 3 through 5. 
And if I can, let's see here. One second, guys. All right, there we go. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 3 through 5. Good morning, GMG. Thank you for joining this morning. Let's go ahead. And we're talking about loss this morning. And let's be encouraged about our losses. Chat, uh, verse 3. God, your God. And this is the message version, guys. God, your God, will restore everything you lost. He'll have compassion on you. He'll come back and pick up the pieces from all the places where you were scattered. No matter how far, no matter how far away you end up, God, your God, will get you out of there and bring you back to the land your ancestors ancestors once possessed. It will be yours again. Bottom line, God is a restorer. God is a restorer. So whatever you're feeling that you have lost, and I know about loss, right? I want to encourage you on today that God will restore you. Oftentimes we come out of marriages, right? Good morning, Ibo, Caracol. Thank you for joining. We feel very down. We feel very angry because there are a lot of things that you often lose when you leave a relationship, when you leave a marriage. You lose your dreams. You lose your goals. You use your hopes, right? Good morning, Engineer BP. Thank you for joining the broadcast. You guys, be sure to share with your followers and on Twitter and tap for hearts. Divorce often happens because women overlook the nice guy. Not necessarily so, uh, mother. Not necessarily so. Just listen up and I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll speak to that in a minute. I'll speak to that. Because look, side note. Many times, so actually, but don't take it from me. I don't know what you mean. Expound a little bit and as I keep going and I'll address that. Good morning, Ken the Boss. Thank you for joining the broadcast. So we're talking about loss and coming out of marriages, going through divorce. You have lost. You've lost dreams. You lost hopes. You may have lost your home that you've lived in for many, many years. You may have to lose material possessions, things that you've worked hard for. You may have to leave them behind. You may lose part of yourself. You may even lose your children, right? But I want you to know today that this is just a temporary state. And let me tell you, I've, I've had some losses. I've been divorced twice on two very different seasons of my life. And the first time, for those of you who are new, I'm well, uh, XX Tonka. Thank you. Uh, the, the first time, my, my oldest daughter, who's in her tw early 20s, was 16 months old. And my first husband literally walked out via taxi cab and never, ever came back. I've never seen the man after over 20 some odd years. And subsequently, years later, I remarried. And after a 13-year marriage, 15 years in that relationship, I found myself suddenly single with two daughters, a teenager and a six-year-old, right? So I know about loss. I know about rebuilding. I know about losing yourself, who you once were in that particular relationship, right? Because we identify often with our relationships, especially as women. A lot of times, uh, oftentimes we're identified by our status of our husband, right? And so when you come out of that relationship and you come out of that marriage, you've experienced some loss. And it's real. It's real. It's, it's, it's real. It's not imaginary. It's real, tangible losses. Let me tell you, so I'll, I'll just share a particular situation of mine. When I went through my second divorce, you know, I chose to move on. I chose to leave some things behind because that's just where I was at that time. And, you know, some things aren't worth fighting for. But I did have a, a, a home. We had a vacation home that I worked really hard to keep up and to pay the mortgage on that for years. But be, prior to the divorce being final. Good morning, Lipstick Chatter. Thank you for joining the broadcast. Be sure to share with your followers and on Twitter. So, yes, I was fighting for that very one thing. The other things, I really, you know, I chose to leave them behind, right? 
And so that very one thing that for the first few years of going through my divorce, because you know it takes time, and you've been married for 13, 15 years, it takes some time for those processes to go through the court system and, and all those adjustments, right? And so when I came out of my, first, my second marriage, I was underemployed. Okay, so I wasn't even working full time. I was picking up hours, but I was working hard to save that vacation home for my daughters. Because if I had to leave my home, I wanted something, I, you know, for them that they could relate to that they had been going to for years. Prior to the divorce, in the divorce, I lost it. I lost it. So even though I didn't fight for all those other things, the one thing that I wanted, I lost that too. But let me tell you something. So what? <laughs> so what? You know, initially I, I was very sad. I was like, oh my God, you know, I spent money on that thing. I was paying that mortgage that I really didn't have to keep it. But let me tell you something. God opens new doors for you. You may have lost something in the past, but God is a restorer. And I'm telling you this not from what I heard. I'm telling you this from not from what I read in a book. But I'm telling you what I know. Welcome, Megadoo81. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you. That's right. You'll get that and more. And God has restored. I'm telling you, he has restored. So some things, they're not worth fighting for. You're going to have some losses. But God is a restorer. I promise you that restoration yes Kimmy restoration so I want to encourage you on today whatever that loss is for you I'm not negating the loss at all the loss is real and it unfortunately it is part of the process of going through a divorce and maybe it's not even a divorce that you're going through it could be a challenge it could be a loss of a job it could be a loss of a family member who's dear to you the loss is still the same right but let me encourage you on today God will restore you he'll give you a new home why what Jeff he'll give you new friends right because oftentimes even in divorces we lose friendships we lose good morning Tanya Ward thank you for joining the broadcast welcome welcome we lose friends we may even lose family members, right? Because in-laws of 13 and 15 years and 20 years, that's our family. And sometimes family members pick sides. Often, you know, sometimes they don't. Thank God for the ones who don't. Good morning, Kim 25, right? But you may lose them as well. But let me tell you something on today. God is your source. He is your source. He will restore everything. But I want you to go to him and tell him about your losses if you haven't. Yes, relate to loss, right, Kimmy? Go to God with your loss. He already knows, but he wants you to come to him. Go to him and share your story, share your feelings so that he can give you the strength that you need. He can give you the energy that you need. He can give you the idea that you need, right? Good morning, Tanya Ward. Thank you. Welcome to the broadcast. Glad to have you here. God will restore you. And see, he may not restore you in the way that you think he's going to restore you. You may think, boom, I'm going to get another house. Boom. And he can do that. God can do whatever he wants to do. But what he may also do is give you new relationships that will lead you to that home. New relationships that will lead you to that job. One second, Danny. Okay. Go ahead and type it in the chat. If you're serious, if you if you're funny, I'll block you. <laughs> Good morning, Alex. Thank you for joining. Right? God will restore you. He's your source. I'm telling you that. And so I want you to be encouraged because when you go to him with your losses, he's gonna replenish you. Good morning, Coco. Okay, give me up. Just put the type of question in the chat. So he's gonna restore you, right? He's gonna give you new relationships. He'll give you new tangible material things. He's going to give you a new heart. He's going to give you a new mind. And that's what you're going to need on this next course of your life. It's not a weave, sweetheart. Not at all. It's all mine. And, it, you know, and if it was a weave, so what? <laughs> double for your trouble. Yes, Kimmy, that's on, that's on my paper right here. God will restore you double. He will restore you double. 
everything the enemy thought he could take from you, he's going to give it to you back. And it, it may not be the way that you think it's going to tangibly be, but he will restore you. Oh, good morning, Alex. Thank you for joining in from London. Thank you for joining the broadcast. So recap quickly. God's going to restore you. He is your source and he will increase you. Let me tell you something. There's a scripture that says the Lord will increase you more and more. You and your children. You and your children. So for you moms out there who got those little babies by your side, and maybe they're not even little babies, right? Maybe they're just as big as you. I had one of each when I left my second husband. Jeff Lever, thank you for joining. And they're looking at you. And that's another thing. They're watching you. They're watching everything that you do. So remember, be strong today. Be encouraged on today. Your loss is everything that you lost. God will restore it. I promise you. Why do you follow this Jesus and not Yahweh? Jesus is the Antichrist. Many will be deceived. To each his own. This is not the, this is not the scope for that. But I'm a believer. I believe that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, who shed his, his blood on Calvary's cross. And not only did he shed his blood. Yes, the kids are watching. Not only did Christ shed his blood, but he rose, he rose again, baby. He rose again. Tap my believers. Tap for hearts on today. He rose again. He left the tomb empty. So that's who I believe in. The blood of Jesus Christ. So if you come on here, you know, hey, I want you to know that God loves you. He loves you. So much that he gave his son. And so though you may not believe on today. I'm not, I know, I have a personal relationship with Christ and no one can take that away from me. You know, I don't have to defend that. Let me tell you something. This is not a black or white thing. And it's not negating what's happening in America on today. But it's about Jesus Christ. I'm not going to get hung up in those matters, right? I'm hung up on God's business. God is no respecter of person. But he gives us a free will to choose how we choose to live this life. And so we, when we choose God, when we choose Christ, we get the blessings. I'm not going to get into a debate. So that's enough on that topic. I'm a believer and I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I challenge, not challenge you, but I welcome you to email me off the scope no profanity here I welcome you to email me though and my email is in the in the link in the bio here and we can further discuss it but I will tell you God is the ultimate he's the alpha the omega he's the beginning and the end and there is none like him yeah I read my Bible right so listen let's go back on point I'm sorry for those of you who that you know I had to go off but you know it, it's the truth it's the truth. God is a good God. You know, and we can't blame the situations and circumstances of today's society on God. He gives us our personal will and our, you know, he gives us our will. And so all across these nations, people have wills and they make decisions and those type of things. Good morning, Shimon Kim. Thank you for joining the broadcast. But as the message says on today, what have you lost? And I come to encourage you that God will restore you. He will restore it. He's in the business of restoration. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining. So listen, I just want to continue to encourage you guys on this thankful Thursday, as we say on social media, right? You can always find something to be thankful for. No matter where you are on your journey on today, I want you to be encouraged. God will restore you. I'm a living testimony of that. And he is no respecter of persons. Divorce is a journey. You're going to go through the emotions. One minute you fill up, one minute you feel down, right? Take your cares to God. And so this process is a true and natural process. You're going to grieve. You're going to, you know, have guilty feelings. You're going to be angry and that's okay. But you're going to make it through. And you're going to come out the other side and overcome her. 
I promise you that. As long as you stay hooked up with God, that you importantly reflect on yourself. Men and women, if you're on the journey of divorce, you have to own what you have done. Forgive yourself. Recognize your contribution to the breakdown of the relationship so that you can move forward, so that you can grow, and so that you can be better, right? Welcome, you guys, to the broadcast. Kiss me and, and uh, F-L-L-Y. I am sorry. So listen, guys. It's a wonderful day. It's always a beautiful day. You can find something to be thankful for on today. You can stay connected with me on all platforms of social media. Live Life Loved, and that loved is spelled L-U-V-D. I'm at LiveLifeLove.com. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Snapchat, YouTube. I have a Facebook uh, group for divorced and separated women entitled Divorce Liberation. There is also a link to that private safe group. Welcome, Valerie. Uh, in my bio so you can tap on that and it'll take you right to the Facebook group, right? So be encouraged on today. No matter how much loss you feel on today, God is a restorer and he's a healer. If you're having a challenge making it through your journey uh, of divorce recovery, you can stay connected with me. I have a 15 minute um, session. It's a free session. We can chat. We can talk to see if there's a way that I can help you. And that website is bit.ly forward slash coach me and the number seven. Good morning, 12, two times. That's B-I-T B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash coach me and the number seven. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day on today. I am praying for you all the time. And you know, as I always say, no matter what the situation or the circumstance is on today, God is always with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Fancy Dancer. Thank you, Kimmy. He will never leave you or forsake you. I promise you on that. I'm praying for you guys all the time. I'll be here tomorrow on our Freedom Fun Friday. Yes, we're, you know, at the end of the week, right? We'll be here back tomorrow morning. Same time, same place, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so I hope that you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll talk to you again later. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Mwah!